What's going on my good friend? Welcome to today's guitar tutorial with your good friend Melodic Heels. Today we're going to be checking out how to fly by Sticky Fingers. This is a very fun song, kind of in the intermediate because it has the bar chords, but today we're going to do something special with this song and it's learn the whole thing. That means the effects in the background, that means the solo. So if you don't have one of these little babies, the cry baby, I'm not sure if you've ever used one of these wah pedals. I do recommend that you get one of these. I'm going to put it down in the description so you can find it because it's one of these songs that unless you have the pedal for it, it doesn't really sound like it no matter what you do with, with the knobs and the effects it just doesn't work that way right but if you don't have the pedal it doesn't mean that you can't play the song it just means that it's going to sound plain a little I don't know what, how to explain it but before we get started make sure to subscribe turn on the notifications like comment so let's hop to this video Alrighty, my friend let's see if we can get started with this tutorial by getting into the proper tuning so come a little closer a little closer perfect we're going to start by making sure that we're on standard tuning which means that from the top string number six through number one right here on the bottom we're going to have e a d g b and e we're not going to need a capo for this song which is actually you know pretty cool in case you don't have one but we are going to be playing a few variations of bar chords so if you need help with bar chords click on the card that is showing up somewhere in this corner it should be coming up click on that it's going to show you a whole bunch of chords in five minutes and then come back the chords for this song are actually in that video as well so you know it, they work together Okay, so now that we have our proper tuning and we know that we're using bar chords, let's start with the first layer of the song. Okay, so for layer number one, we have a total of four chords and those four chords are going to repeat throughout the entire song. So let's start with the first chord. Your first shape is going to be a C sharp minor shape on the fifth string, but we're going to remove the fourth finger, which is your pinky, to make it into a seventh. The second shape is going to be an E major 7th. We're going to go to fret number 7 and use the bar up to the 5th string. Second finger is going to go on the next fret on the 3rd string. And on the next fret we're going to have the 3rd finger on the 4th string. And on the same fret, which is fret number 9, we're going to put our pinky on the 2nd string. Okay, so we have the C sharp minor 7th, E major 7th your third shape is going to be a G sharp minor 7th which is going to be on fret number 11 and again we have the minor shape on fret number 11 of the fifth string and we're removing our pinky to give it the 7th and for the last shape we're going to have an F sharp major which is going to be on fret number 9 and it's going to be the major shape not sure if you're used to doing it with the traditional shape i'm going to stick to the power chord shape just because on the electric guitar it's just a little bit easier so we're going to have c sharp minor seventh we're going to have e major seventh we're going to have g sharp minor seventh and then we're going to have f sharp major now that we have the four chords let's see if we can add the rhythm that goes along with those four chords it's going to basically be down and you're going to pause that after you strum the first time down and then we're going to release those fingers on the same chord just to mute the strings and give it that sound and we're going to go down up okay so we go down with the chord down up muted by releasing the fingers slightly to mute the strings and then we're going to strum it again okay so we go down down up down and it sounds silly when you do it slowly but when you speed it up down down up down okay chord down down so 
when you do it slow, I know that it sounds pretty silly, but that's how it starts. Make sure to get it slow and right rather than fast and kind of like a weird quality, right? So let's start it slow. Down, 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 down. Once you have that motion down, start blending them together by sliding a little bit from one chord to the next. You can actually hear that, right? When it goes from the first to the second one. It was a drag. And that's how you hear those little spaces being filled in with extra sounds. And that is the end of the first layer for the first guitar. There's going to be a second layer with the second guitar, which we're going to check out right now. Let's go. The second layer has exactly the same chords as layer number one. The only difference here is that we're going to need the wah pedal to add the effect to each chord as we go along. The first one is going to be one strum and only one strum with the C sharp minor seventh, right? But we strum it, we use our pedal, we go back on the pedal, and then we bring it back down to give it that full effect. On the second one, we're going to have the E major seventh. And it's exactly the same, just one strum, and then the wah pedal does the rest, right? The next one is going to be a little different. We're going to have the one strum with the wah with the same effect. And notice that it's the strum first, and then the wah goes back, and then it gets back added. But here on the G-sharp uh, minor seventh, we're going to add a pull of on fret number 14th of the first string. Then we're going to play the second, third string, and then the fourth string. Okay, so it's going to sound. And that's it. And then we have the F major chord. Same effect with the pedal. So let's do that one more time. There's going to be four variations to the second layer, and I'm going to show you all four. That was the first one. The first one is just one strum on the first chord. So notice that the only thing that is different right there is going to be when you're on the G sharp minor seventh, we're going to give it that strum and then pull up on fret number 14 of the first string, second, third, fourth string, and then a strum on the F. That's the first round. The second round is going to be a little bit different, very slightly different. We're going to have the C sharp, one strum, then we're going to go to the second chord, which is the E major seventh, and we're going to give it one full strum, and then we're going to go from the first string to the fourth string. So we're gonna go. And that's it. Now we move to the G minor seventh. And this time, instead of doing this, we're going to give it a pull up on the same fret, which is 14, but this one is going to be on the second string. Okay? And then on the second string, again, we're doing like we just did from 14 to 12. Now we're going to do from 12 to 11. Okay? So let's do that. And then we're going to add again number 12 on the second string before we move to the F. Let's do that one again. When you put it together, that's what it sounds like. So let's do round number one. We go to round number two. 
forget those. And now we go. Alright. Round number three is the same as round number one. No aperture here. Okay. And the last round, which is going to be number four, is exactly the same for the most part. We start with the C, uh, C sharp. Now we add the aperture to the second one, to the E major seventh. But this time, we're going to go to G sharp minor seventh, like we did. We're going to strum it one time and let the wah pedal do the rest. Okay, one more time. And then the, we're going to have the F. The first one, those two rounds, is going to go fret number 14 on the first string. And then we're going to have a combination of hammers going from fret number 12 to fret number 14 on the second string. And back to number 12. So hammer from 12 to 14 and then back to 12. And then we repeat that. So we go. three times. And notice that when I do the hammer, I also raise on the pedal down here. Once we do the third hammer, we're going to go to fret number 11 on the first string and back to 14 and 12 on the second string. So let's get that right. We go. Good. Now the second round is very similar, but this time we're going to do number 11 on uh, the second string. So we're going to go. And that's it. Now the third round is going to be a little bit different. We're going to go fret number 14 on the first string. And then we're going to have the hammers two times. And then we're going to go back to 14 on the first string. Okay, so let's go up to there. Back to 14. And now we're going to play 11 on the first string. Back to 14 on the second. Back to 12 on the second. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, now round number four is going to be similar to round number one, but we're going to do something a little different. We're going to go to fret number 14 on the first string. We're going to have three sets of hammers from 12 to 14 on the second string. And this time we're going to stay right there and we're going to do, do which is going to go 14 to 16 to 12, 14 first, and then a hammer from 14 to number 16 on the second string, and then number 12. When you put that one together, it goes. The first one is going to be the C sharp minor seventh. Okay, so we're going to have a hammer that releases the two fingers that we have on strings numbers two and number four on frets number five and six. It releases them first, strum it, and then add them as a hammer. Okay, and we have a pass up. That's it. Right? Now we go to the next one, and it's going to be the E major seventh chord and we're going to do basically the same thing that we did before which is going to be one strum and the aperture that goes first second third and fourth string okay so slow motion second chord third chord is going to be the g sharp major and we're doing the same rhythm again down up pause up. 
And then for the F, exactly the same. But we're adding an extra chord, uh, strum at the end, an, an, an extra down, right? Alrighty, my good friends, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through. Next video is going to be maybe a music video or maybe a gaming video. You guys need to stay up to date on the social medias. I recommend that you go to the Discord right now and check out the Discord because that's where everything is happening. I'm not sure if you guys remember that I tried at some point to change the Melodic Heels name to the Heels Hub and then it, it occurred to me, why not just make the Heels Hub somewhere else? So the Heels Hub is active again, you guys, and this time there's music to go around with the games alongside. So. It's kind of like, uh, you know, you have to check it out and find your place in there. But the cool part about it is that we get to hang out. We get to exchange DMs. We get to exchange ideas. Stay motivated and motivate each other to keep going. Because that's one of the reasons why it gets difficult for me to keep up with making the videos. And it's because... I really like the fact that we get to communicate. Otherwise, I feel that I'm just talking to a camera and I'm not gonna get motivated for just a camera, right? So make sure to follow over there, subscribe, comment, like, and I'm gonna catch you on the next one. And don't forget, put your recommendations down in the comments so we can, you know, get another tutorial going as soon as possible. Catch you later.